Hello, I'm Scott Milliken, the lead developer for OpenDCIM, an open source data center infrastructure management application. Today I'm going to talk to you about patch panels, um, how to uh, define the patch panels themselves, the links uh, that connect both the front side and the back side, and how to um, basically maneuver with those and, and read the instructions on the screen to see where exactly everything is going. So we've got our sample data center here, uh, or our sample setup, and we'll go into data center one, um, where I've already got a few things defined. We'll start off in the customer ABC area, row AD, and you'll notice that I've got a few devices inside of here, including a switch and a patch panel. Now, one of the first things you need to do when you're going to start deploying patch panels is come up with a naming scheme that will actually give you enough information about where you're coming from and where you're going to. Now I used a very simplistic one for this example. This is not actually how I do it at work because um, I do have a bit more complicated setup there. Um, but for the illustration here I've got PP for patch panel and then since I'm in the customer ABC area I put ABC dash DMARC because this is a patch panel going from ABC to the DMARC area and demarcation is basically the area where I've got all of my stuff coming in from my uh, upstream providers. So if you click on the patch panel here you'll see that um, basically I've just set up a generic patch panel template here with 24 ports and if you scroll down you'll see that there are indeed 24 ports and uh, I've already got some connections. I've got uh, one on the front side going to uh, port 1 and you'll notice that all of the ports on the back side go to pp-dmark-abc so that designates that this is the one that is in the dmark area going back to the customer abc area and so port 1 goes to port 1 all the way down through port 24 through port 24 so that's your basic type of patch panel setup and if we take a look at switch ad01 when you take a look at the um, connections, anything that goes through a patch panel, it'll actually show you down here at the bottom the full path from end to end. So here we can see that port 24 of this particular switch goes to port 1 on patch panel ABC DMARC, which is connected backside to patch panel DMARC uh, to ABC port 1, and then from there the front side goes to the SW-DIST0 distribution switch port gig slash 1. So that's how we read that. Another thing that you can do is when you've got a um, uh, multi-step connection, if you click on the port listed down here, it will draw a map for you. So this is a little bit uh, easier to read. It says that cabinet AD01 position U22, this switch is going and this is a front side connection we have different um, designators here in terms of the uh, the color of the connectors um, go into the patch panel there's the back side connector and then here's the front side connector and any of these links you can click so that you can quickly go to that page alright so how do we actually make one of these well let's make one uh, I've got another customer area here well, I've got a customer XYZ and um, Actually, that's not the one that I've got some servers in. Let's take a look at our internal systems. Okay, so here I've got a switch, I've got some servers, but I don't have a patch panel, and I need to somehow get back to my demarcation area because that's where my upstream to the internet is or firewalls and all that good stuff. So um, let's create a patch panel. Um, so we'll start off with adding a device here, and we'll call this one PP Dash, and we are in the internal area and we need to go to the DMARC. Okay. So we'll set up a template of a generic patch panel, 24 port, and we want to put it in the very top of this cabinet. And it's only half depth, and it's on the back side. So we want to make it appear correctly. So we've created that, and now we have 24 ports. Now, am I ready to go ahead and hook up the back side? Not quite yet, because I need to make sure that there is actually a patch panel to connect to over in the DMARC area. So let's take a look at the DMARC area. 
and I've got patch panel for ABC section and customer XYZ but I don't have one for my internal systems so I need to create that next so let's uh, create it and put it over in position 26 so we'll do the same thing here PP dash but we're gonna call it D mark because that's where we're at currently going to internal and generic patch panel and it says we can stick it right there okay actually we will put it on the back side because this is probably going to be a two post rack um, being in the demarcation area so we'll create that and once again you see 24 ports here but there are no connections so how do we make that connection between this patch panel and the one that's over in the internal systems area well, if you click on the little arrow here, the little drop down where it says back, it's going to pull up all of the different patch panels that have been defined in OpenDCIM. So we are currently at patch panel DMARC INT, so we want to go to patch panel INT DMARC. Okay? Now when you do this, it will detach any existing connections, so make sure you don't just play around with this. But when you do this, it will instantly make connections between the existing device which is PPDMARC INT and PP-INT-DMARC. Okay? So we are good to go. We've got connections from one end all the way to the other. Click on here and it puts us back in cabinet DC1AN01 which is in the internal systems area. Okay. Right. So now if you know which ports you want to use, which patch panels you want to use, um, you can enter them in manually or if you want to try to find a path um, between two areas, let's see, we were in AN01, we want to go from this switch, port let's say 24, and we want to go to this data center and I didn't look to see what the cabinet was we'll see maybe it's AS01 that's it switch distribution 01 and let's see let's say we want to go to port 9 uh, you can enter these values in tell it to make the path and it will automatically find an available port on the patch panel and map it out for you. Okay. Now it doesn't actually do that until you click implement in the database. So this is just kind of a find an open path for me uh, type of scenario. So let's go do what this is actually wanting to do behind the scenes now that I've shown you how to use that tool. So we'll come over here into the internal systems. Alright and let's do it from the patch panel side. So let's say port 1 is the one we want to use for making the connection. So we're going to go to this switch and notice that it only shows the ports that are actually available here. So we'll do port 24 and we're going to call this one uplink to internet. And we'll save that one and we're not going to change the rear side. And now we've actually got a connection to the patch panel. So let's go back and look at the switch and you'll see we've got kind of an incomplete connection here take a look at the map to make it a little easier for you so it shows that we've got the switch going to the front side of a patch panel and that's connected through the back side to another patch panel but there's nothing at the other end here okay so we don't have a complete connection end to end so we need to fix that okay so let's go to the back side of our patch panel and let's make a connection off of port 1. We're going to go to the distribution switch and it says the next available port is gig 2. And so we'll say this is the uplink to internal systems. Save that. And now if we take a look. We have a full path from end to end. So there you go that's pretty much it um, as far as how to define patch panel connections 
hope you found this useful. Um, if you have any more questions, uh, we have a discussion mailing list. Uh, go to the opendcim.org website, uh, click on participation, and there is a link to join the mailman mailing list. Or you can get onto um, IRC Freenode uh, channel <coughs> OpenDCIM and um, ask your question. And uh, when one of us uh, happens to see it, we'll uh, address it and uh, try to give you a hand and help you. Thanks a bunch.